Hey there, it's Anna. On my previous video, I mentioned that I picked up this uh, 48 set of watercolor paints from Doodle Hog. Um, I have the uh, 36 set and the 24 set, and I really enjoy working with them. I really like how clear the colors are. This is them, the 24 set um, swatched out on um, Arches watercolor paper. So I really like how bright and um, vibrant the colors are. This is what the box of 24 pan looks like, and this is the 36. Um, so I thought, um, since I liked the 24 and 36 um, sets so much, I thought I'd pick up the set of 48. So that's what the 24 pan looks like. So again, really bright, clear colors. And there are going to obviously be some repeat colors in the sets, um, but I'm okay with that. Here's the 36 color set. Um, it's uh, a larger tin. It's actually the same size tin as the 48 pan set. It just has three rows instead of four. And then here's the swatch card I made for that one. So again, really pretty colors, really clear. And I didn't notice a difference in the paint from the 24 to the 36. And I'm not noticing a difference in the 48 paint either. And it looks like this. You can see I've been using some of them there. Um, so I thought I would um, swatch this out so you can see how clear the colors are. Um, I picked this up on Amazon earlier this week. Um, this set was about, 50, I want to say $15. Um, I think there was a coupon that I could apply. Generally, I think it's about $18. So I thought I would just go ahead and swatch these out so we can take a look. And then I have a swatch card to include on some um, watercolor paper that I enjoy using. Uh, so this is the Fabriano 25% cotton watercolor paper. It's the Fabriano Studio paper. And uh, I'm going to just be using the silver um, brush. It's just a, a round. And I'm just going to swap the colors here on the cardstock or the uh, watercolor paper. And I can tell you what the color names are. So this one is Vibrant Yellow. And that it is. Let's see, they kind of have funny colors and there is no pigment information um, referenced um, for this set. So I wouldn't trust it as a professional level um, watercolor set that's gonna have any sort of light fastness. Um, but you know, I just make cards and um, paint little images. So I'm not worried about anything lasting um, decades. So I'm perfectly fine using craft quality or student grade watercolor paints and I think these are really fun and inexpensive and um, by having something that's you know low priced and beautiful to use uh, it's not a precious supply so you're more likely to actually use it and experiment and um, paint so there's a beautiful color as well I love this one it's called golden honey this color is called warm field this one is nectarine and this one is soft apricot and this one is goldenrod so moving on, this next color is called Marigold. So lots of yellows. This would be a beautiful set for uh, painting lots of florals. Uh, this color is called Tiger Orange. The next one is Saffron Orange. Really bright, beautiful orange. Then we have Orange Flame. So this one has a bit more red to it. And then the last one in this row is called Deep Coral. Beautiful. So fun. So now I'll go to the next row. Um, I'll starting over here. This color is Grape. It's a really fun purple color. And the next color is Bright Purple Indigo. <laughs> Quite a mouthful for that one. Isn't that beautiful? And the next color is a lavender. It's like a pinkish purple. Uh, the next color then is azalea. See what I mean about this being great for florals? I just think there's some really beautiful colors in here. This one is called chili peppers. <laughs> the next one is raspberry. I love this color kind of a bright red. 
Next up is Very Berry. Nice hot pink. Uh, the next one is Fuchsia. Next is Red Peony, which is kind of a strange name for this because it's very pink. <laughs> then there is Cherry. And there's two more. So this one is um, Hibiscus. So lots of uh, floral names in this set too. I think they were on to it being a good set for floral artists. And then the last color in this row is Candy Pink. And this one reminds me of Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> there we go. So that's the first two rows. Let's move on down to the next row here. We are starting with the blues. This is Egyptian blue. Then we have Soft Royal. I need to save room for my fourth row here. Then we have Harbor Blue. Midnight Navy, which this one is kind of an odd name. I don't think it's quite as descriptive as the color. I got some of the pink in there, but there we go. Midnight Navy. I would expect that to be a darker blue. This one is called Sapphire. Look at that blue. Woo! Beautiful. Reminds me of um, Dianthus. Is that the tall flower that has the big blue flowers? Um, then we have Evening Sky. This is a beautiful color. It's like an indigo blue. A little bit smoky. Then we have Misty Aqua. And I think this color is in all four sets. Or excuse me, all three sets. Pretty little green color. Then we have Celery. And this color is unique to this particular palette. Then we have Lime Green. Then we have grass green. That's bright, eh? And then we have rich jade. This color I think is oddly named as well. It's not really a jade green in my opinion. But there we go. And then we have green olive. I love this color. <laughs> and then the last row here, we've got um, I'll start over here on this side. Nettle. Just do a small swatch there. Then we have Emerald. Then we have Turquoise. This is a beautiful color. Um, ocean Teal. Blue Wave. <laughs> now we're starting into the Earth Tones. This is Butterscotch. Next up is Lucky Penny. And this is a really pretty color, I think. Then we have Red Velvet, and I love this color. This is a beautiful color. It could easily be up there in those reds. Then we've got um, Chocolate. Coffee Bean. Then there is Flagstone, which is a beautiful gray. Um, it's kind of a warm gray. And then we have black leather, which is a really dark black. So there's the colors in the 48 set. I think they're really beautiful. Look at how the pink ran into this purple here. 
<laughs> that's so pretty how they meld together. We've got brown running into the green here as well. So I think these are gonna be really fun to use. And like I said, all these beautiful shades are gonna be just perfect for painting lots of flowers. So anyways, I just thought I would share this with you. Um, I'm quite happy with these. And like I said, you know, don't expect them to be artist quality um, as far as your um, light fastness and your longevity of color. Um, purity um, goes but I think they're beautiful and fun to use definitely for paper crafters and I think they'd be great in journaling as well if you have um, a sketchbook that you're using they'd be perfect for that too so lots of beautiful colors and really clear colors too there's absolutely no um, milkiness or chalkiness to the colors so fun fun so hope you guys enjoyed seeing these beautiful colors and uh, i know i'm gonna have fun using this set so thanks for watching bye